Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. <sighs> I feel a bit tired, but I've got a little bit of a headache today for some reason. I had uh, I slept um, a bit weirdly in my the back of my neck is aching a couple of days ago and it's just it's almost spread up to the back of my head a little bit it's okay but yeah. I think it's because I've got such a big head Andre's being very naughty he's just knocked lots of water on the floor So basically he wants me to give him some new food, but there's still some wet food, some like cat food in the bowl that he's not eating yet. So he's demonstrating. He's doing a little dirty a little dirty protest. So he's he's knocking stuff over. And uh now he's he's had to uh settle for dry food which is the dry ferret food which is what he should be eating it doesn't give him everything he needs but neither does the cat food I kind of need to be in combination really but when I mix them together he don't touch it so they have to be separate and I suppose the best thing to be giving him would be like raw meat but I don't want to do that I did it once when he was a baby, he gave him some raw chicken. And all he did was grab it and run off and hide it somewhere. And you I don't want stuff like that hidden under the bed or around the flat because it's just way too stinky. Um plus I don't I don't like dealing with raw meat, if I'm honest with you. I'm not really a big fan of uh it so he has cat food now he's eating it the thing is that bugs that what annoys me about him is I gave him some cat food a few hours back and he ate it and he's left a bit and now it's a little bit dry on the outside just a little bit and he's turning his nose up at it and he doesn't want to touch it However, the things that he sticks his nose in and licks and tries to eat when we're out for a walk is just purely disgusting. All he wants to do is get down the drain. He loves bags of rubbish. You know, why is he such a snob when it comes to (laughs) the cat food? when he'd clearly he'd eat elephant droppings if he could you know what I'm just saying he, he's not a fussy eater yet when he's here he's a fussy eater but give him a bag of rubbish and he's happy weird weird little thing he is but he's eating the, he's eating the cat food now He's always got a face on him. Is it almost like, I don't want this, but I'm going to have to eat it anyway, otherwise I'll starve. Yeah, Andre, you're really likely to starve. Food on tap, 24 hours a day. It's not <laughs> Plus, I know he hides stuff. He hides things around. So I've, I have a, 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 so I have a sandwich, a cheese sandwich, for example. And I don't always eat the whole thing. I'm not a big eater. Um, So I'll I'll just leave a little bit on the plate. And I think nothing of it. 
but it will come and it'll it'll nick the, the food off the plate and it'll hide it somewhere so you can have a snack in a couple of weeks time so he will eat <laughs> moldy cheese sandwich but he won't eat fresh cat food that's a couple of day a couple of uh, hours old yeah. yeah so it's been a I'm going to just talk about my day. Yeah. And also, do you remember, <laughs> I'm going to do the rhyme. If you like what I do, leave a review. So that's going to become very old very quickly, I know. But I'm going to continue because I think that fits in with the boredom aspect of these particular podcasts. So there, I'm going to continue doing it. Um, ideally, please leave a video review. And also, just to remind you, uh, for every person that shares one of my posts on Facebook, shares it onto their own page or onto a Facebook page or a group, will be entered into the competition for January. And you get a chance to win a every single episode of Let Me Bore You to Sleep so far. So by the time we get to the end of the month, there'll be another uh, 20, 20 recordings on top of what there is now. So I think there's 296 at the moment. This is episode 297. And so, yeah, that would be about 200, uh, 315 or something like that recordings that will be on a, a stick. <laughs> Not like a little stick from a tree, but, a, you know, one of those USB sticks, flash disk drive things. And it will be on there. And I'll send it to you anywhere in the world. And also just to remind the winner of last month's competition. Uh, who won a... Uh, what did I pretend it was? <laughs> no, it really is something. Um, an Alexa... Um, dot thingy. And that is on its way so uh, that will be with you hopefully within the next week or so so that's what I'm looking to do if anyone would like to join that competition I haven't really promoted it much perhaps I should put a bit more effort into it but I've just been so busy with well, sometimes I just don't remember I'll be honest with you, when I do a recording, when I do these recordings, I'm kind of just rambling. And when I make the other recordings, it's uh, a lot more focused. So sometimes I forget what it is, you know, to remind to remind people of the competition. And it's, it's a part of me thinks, or oh, perhaps I shouldn't keep mentioning the competition because those people listening in, you know, two years' time will be thinking, what competition? What's that all about? And, but this competition's just for January 2020. So if you're listening in 2000, 2059, I'm really old <laughs> I'm now really old so I might need you to come and care for me how old would I be so 1920 now 30 40 50 so that's 40 years isn't it nearly I'm nearly 50 so I'll be 80 I'll be 90 pretty much I'll be 40, no, I'll be 89, 1959, I'll be 89. So 
so I'll still only I'll still only be a three, uh, three quarters of the way through my life but I'll still be elderly so I'll be 89 still be making these recordings who knows what my voice will be like then and welcome to let me bore you to sleep I'll just be falling asleep probably I'm like old yeah. I actually I imagine I'll still have you know all, all things going well Um, I still have a fairly young voice I think I've spoken to many people during my uh, call centre uh, experience all those years spoke to many people that were in their 70s even 80s that sounded didn't sound any older than 30 they you know got very young voices so some people in their 20s sound like they're in their 60s but they don't really it just it's just their voice we all we've all just got different voices haven't we it's just uh, I'm going to stop I'm going to stop talking now yes so today I'm not going to stop talking because that would be that wouldn't work would it because this is uh, me talking got to talk got to talk So today, or yesterday, Thursday, the 9th, which is now Friday, the 10th, there was a full moon last night, which was um, not as interesting saying it out loud as I thought it would be. There's a full moon, okay. So we have, we have that every month, don't we? Yeah. So that's 12 times a year, yeah. And how many years you've been alive? 49 years. So many full moons have there been? I don't know. 12 times by 10 is 120. Um, times by 10 is 1,200. So about 600 full moons there have been. So I've been alive for about 600 months. 600 full moons 600 times I've become incredibly hairy and growled 600 months is that a lot? I don't know we should all do something to celebrate my 50th birthday shouldn't we? (laughs) don't you think? my 50th birthday and the well how many years have I been doing this now so I started in 2006 so it's 2006 2007 2008 2009 2010 2018, 2019, 2020. So this is my 15th year. So I was laughing because Andre was making some weird noises and almost looked like he was playing with an an invisible ball. Yeah, so this is the 15th year. So I can celebrate my 50th anniversary of being alive and my 15th year of making these recordings online so what shall we do to celebrate what shall we do I don't know see I'd have a birthday party if it was if everybody was together you know what I mean if we was all like if this was a town or a little village or a little town and I was doing this just for the town I could just invite a few thousand people and have a lot of really nice big well, a huge party wouldn't it for a few thousand people but I could invite everyone and maybe a few hundred would turn up or something 
but because everyone's so spread out around the world it's not really practical is it I say come to my birthday at the end of August um, it's only going to cost you a thousand pounds to sort of get here you know on a plane and stay in a hotel it's like yeah okay see you there then actually I don't know how much it costs to uh, travel on planes it's uh, I don't I honestly don't know even more what I don't understand is why do people pay for cheap airfare I almost would want to pay the most I could possibly afford just to make sure that I got there I just I suppose it depends what airport you're flying off from doesn't it but what's that on the news <laughs> oh man I did actually think at the beginning of the year, or before the beginning of the year, I was going to stop watching the news, but I haven't. I don't know, there's something... <clears throat> there's something about wanting to be informed. There's a degree of stimulation to that but it's not necessarily a positive stimulation. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, cool. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm just putting my drink down. So... What's he doing? That's weird. He's cuddled up to a little teddy, which he doesn't normally do. You know what? I think that a lot of what Andre gets up to, I don't get to see. Because I come in here and his things are moved around. His little snake that he's got, it's, uh, well it's not little, it's probably about three times his length. But he, he hides it. But it moves around. He's got these, just these things he likes to do. And I don't see him doing it. But sometimes I catch him and it's the cutest thing in the world. It's so lovely, he's just having the best fun. But quite often he doesn't do it in front of me. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, let's just give me some ideas about the birthday. Uh, to celebrate 15 years, please leave a video review on my website. Also, also, did I say only listen when you can safely close your eyes? Yeah, probably. I, um, I'll say to you what I said to one of my neighbours years ago when he was playing his uh, classical music at a level that was shaking the entire house. When he said to me, I thought he was out, didn't realise you was in. And I said to him, just assume I'm always in. In other words, please don't ever play your music that loud. It's just too loud, there's no, it's just, nah. It's, that's what headphones are for. Um, and we cuddled each other for a little bit. Um, but it's already made up. Uh, so I'm going to say to you the same thing. Just assume that I've said only listen when you can safely close your eyes because I might forget to say it sometimes. But I do try to remember. I do try, 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 try. So today, or yesterday, it's still today because I've not gone to bed yet but yesterday 
I had a meeting with the psychologist and let me tell you what happened well first of all I think I went to bed about five o'clock in the morning and I woke up about twelve or one I went to bed at six and woke up at one something like that and I had some breakfast so I had some porridge I got these porridge sachets I'm not sure if I told you about this I got these porridge sachets which come in a box I think there's 12 sachets per box I think and they're Quaker oats but they're microwave microwave um, porridge the thing is there's not enough there for me there's like half the amount I would actually eat if I was uh, making ready break for example but I stick to the portions because um, it's, I just can't be bothered to try and put in two and because two would actually probably be a bit too much actually um, but one's not really enough I could definitely eat a banana on top so but I don't I think bananas and porridge really go together but they might I don't know depends whether or not you like um, bananas and porridge mixed together doesn't it so I I have that I've been doing that for a while now ever since I got my microwave oven probably about two months ago and I put it in the microwave I, I, so it's quite it's quite ingenious really so the sachet is made of almost like I don't know if you've you ever went to school, but if you if you went to school in the seventies or the eighties, there used to be this toilet paper that was like or more like tracing paper. It's similar to that kind of paper, but made into a sachet. And I just hope it's not recycled. Ugh. Can you imagine that recycled toilet paper? But anyway, ripping it, you rip off the top. It tells you where to rip it. You pour the contents into the bowl. Then you get the milk and you pour the milk up to a certain level inside the sachet again. And you pour the milk into the bowl again. Then you put it in the microwave for two minutes. And after two minutes the microwave goes bing 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 five times providing you press the on button you know you have to you can't just put it in close the door and leave it you have to actually set the timer and press on and then it's ready it needs a bit of stirring because it's very otherwise it's just like skinny on top skinny a skin it's very slim on top and you s just stir it round and I, I make a cup of coffee and then I have a little bit of sugar on the porridge and I, yeah, so I have a, a cup of coffee I only have one sugar in my coffee and then I bring it all into the, li into the living room and generally I've got, uh, I've got a little table next to my big black squeaky chair I usually have the coffee furthest away from me on one part and then the bowl next to that and then I have the bowl on my lap and I hold the bowl and I have the coffee and I kind of take alternate sips sometimes I might have a couple of spoonfuls of uh, porridge 
and then the there may be a sip of coffee. I mean, there's no, you know, I don't sort of, I don't go by any kind of script on that one. It's not like one, two, one, three, three, two, one, you know. It's just, I go by how I feel, what feels right in the moment. So it's, it's, that's kind of my, my morning routine, although I do it in the afternoon. So that's what I did on uh, yesterday afternoon about one, half one. Yeah, it was about half one because I did some other stuff first on the on the computer, went through some stuff. And then, or was it 12? Well, I don't know. Anyway, after having a breakfast, I made a recording. Uh, a relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. I made, I think it was episode 71. Recording 71, I think. Or was it 72? Something like that. And um, I even named it. It's called something I forget now. It had a name. What was the name? Yesterday's, the day before, I called it You Don't Have to Do Anything. Or You Don't Have to Do Anything. You know, that's basically it. And that was the kind of the title of that. This one yesterday was... I'll oh, forget yesterday, you do actually have to do everything. Oh, I said, I changed, yeah. No, I can't remember what it was. It was something. Um, what was it I called it? So I did that one sitting down, and it was a. It was much more of a relaxation. Oh yeah, a safe space. I called that one, and it was going, uh, you know, focusing and going inside to our safe space. So yeah, that was, and I felt quite good about that. It was pretty quiet. There wasn't a huge amount of background sound. Andre was being good and so I just did that recording lasted for about half hour I think and uploaded it I didn't have enough time to do everything that I needed to do with it but I did share it on Facebook and Twitter and when I got home I did the other little bits that needed to be done to keep it up to date with everything else so it's but I didn't have enough time to do that because I needed to go out but I felt quite good because the last three days I've done two recordings each day I think and today my intention my intention is to do uh, my weekly sleep hypnosis recording and I know actually I know what I'm going to do so I know I know what the the subject's going to be so I'm going to do that later I'm probably going to try and sit in my shed and do that um, even though the shed's not soundproofed yet it'll still be a little bit quieter than elsewhere but it will be soundproofed by Easter I'm pretty sure I'll have it done by Easter um, I now know what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it I will tell you all about that excitement later another day in fact I might actually talk to you while I'm doing it now that is an offer isn't it that isn't a an amazing opportunity that uh, was just utter excitement I'm sure so I had my breakfast what did I do I did something the other day something that was weird 
So I don't normally do. Oh yeah, I was friendly to someone. <laughs> no, I don't know what it was. I did something. Hmm, I don't know. So I get up, I have my breakfast, I make the recording, I edit it, upload it, share it, and then I make a page on my website with it on there as well. And then I go out. I'm not waiting very long for the bus. The bus turns up pretty good, which is nice. Um, it's a lovely day yesterday. Very, very bright, sunny, and wasn't cold or anything. It started to get cold later, but you know, when I was initially out, it was fairly, fairly nice. So I get on the bus. I go to the top of the bus. Yeah, I worked, got to the top of the bus. There was a lady sitting there at the bottom of the bus sitting with just near where the um, stairs are to go upstairs and her feet were basically I don't know if she was doing it on purpose but she seemed to spread her feet out so that they were right near the bottoms of the stairs um, basically she had clown's feet big flat feet but I started thinking maybe the reason they're flat is because people keep treading on them and she just has forgotten they're there now they weren't flat or big or but they were very close to the, to the, chair, to the stairs and it was almost like a look of well, don't you dare stand on my feet well why are you sitting with your feet right stretched out but there might be a reason for it so I should just shout but um, I trod on her feet what can I say I just no I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't I hit her with a balloon no I didn't I got off the bus so I was on the bus then I got off the bus and of course it's the interesting journey as ever went through a, uh, past a few roundabouts where it's just interesting to see that clearly nobody ever in the history of driving has ever been taught the rules of roundabouts because nobody seems to know it so that is always interesting but we got through it got into town and got off the bus said thank you to the bus driver where did I go oh yeah I walked up and I went into the bank because I didn't have any money uh, on me so I went to the bank uh, just to draw some money out I'd, pro I'd rather go inside the bank when it's open than use the cash point machines um, just, just seems a bit more secure and then there's, I have my headphones on and I'm listening to some music and there's this woman that works there and she almost like she's standing in front of me trying to stop me getting past and I've got my headphones on so I can't hear what she's saying um, I could have took my headphones off but I didn't want to uh, the point of having the headphones on is so that I didn't have to talk to people that's part of the reason and I, I, I sort of wave hello to her and I walk around her I kind of run and kind of tackle her and tackle her down a rugby tackle and I manage to get to the machine she's holding on to me foot like get off get off get off and uh, eventually I managed to get some money out and uh, I have to get out by a back window a toilet in the back of the uh, bank just to escape I don't know what, what she wanted but uh, you know it looked to me very survey -y. she had one of those expressions which was can you do a survey can I ask you some questions please 
and I no, I don't I don't do surveys. Um, so I you know I try to avoid a, a, as much as possible, and then I get out of there safely. Uh, Luckily, I had a parachute because the toilet was upstairs, so I got parachuted down. And then <clears throat> I walked down the road, and I'm thinking to myself, right, what's the time? So I look at my phone because it's got the time on. Does anybody wear a watch anymore? I don't know. I, I I've never worn a watch. Yet I own two nice watches. But I don't wear watches. Not since I left school. And the reason being is it aggravates my wrist. It's weird, isn't it? It just, it feels uncomfortable. I don't wear jewellery. I don't wear anything on my fingers or my hands or my arms. Uh, I wear clothes, but I don't, I don't have any restrictions at all. No rings. Um which is good because I've broken my hand a few times and if I had had a ring on I might have ended up having to have the ring like cut cut off and you know whatever so yeah I'm I don't like restrictions like that or long fingernails or Or a horse. I wouldn't want the restrictions of a horse. Because they're very time consuming. Beautiful animals, but the whole kind of clearing out the horse's stable and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't really appeal to me. So there's, there's a few things I'm not really that into, but it's not really relevant, I guess. So. Oh, wow, I can't believe this. Apparently. A major company have invented a new invisible keyboard for, la uh, for like PCs, an invisible keyboard. And uh, they've sold millions of them already. And there are a lot of complaints. And people were saying that they haven't been delivered. Wow! See, this this is a, a keyboard. It's actually for a phone, and you type. So you put the phone, the, the mobile phone, in front of you. Yeah, and you actually just type on desk and then it comes up on the big screen like the the typing you're doing wow wow that's uh, and it kind of mirrors it so it's I guess it's um keeping it's checking all your finger movements and things this is on click it's a BBC program called click it's on every week and it shows like the mate the, the newest technological um, stuff and it is it's fascinating to me I find it fascinating I do I quite like technology actually because I see the good that it can do it's the, the possibilities you know I mean just going back to you know the early days when I started doing these record you know this stuff there was no uh, smartphones there was no decent cameras it was all well they were but you know you'd, you'd have to pay a lot of money it was out of the price range of the average person 
Um, although I did get a video camera in 2009, or was it 2008? Uh, I think I spent about 500 pound on that, 600 pound or something. So I got a video camera. And the quality of the picture was okay, but the quality of the sound was awful. Uh, it wasn't awful, it wasn't very good though. So, great for, I suppose, being on holiday and filming your kids and filming yourself and parties and that kind of stuff, but not, wasn't uh, particularly perfect for making uh, videos for YouTube, for me at the time, but I used it anyway. But other than that, the only other option was webcams, which were, the picture was okay if you didn't move. <laughs> it's one of those, like picture was really good as a picture, but as a moving image, it wasn't always wonderful. And it was basically one make that did the, um, made the webcams one the top brand there was a top brand for years and I guess I don't know if anyone still use webcams now but I suppose you need to if you're going to be using a laptop because even now my laptop is not old I think I bought my laptop last year and the camera's just awful it's not, it's not like a top notch web um, a top notch laptop but it is 8 gigabyte memory and it's uh, the, well, the the inbuilt camera is just really really it's really bad and I've, no, I've, I've found that to be the case with every single laptop I've ever had and in the old days, when I was working, back in, I don't know, 2004, 2005, I was buying, I had a decent laptop. You know, I was paying sort of 700 pound or something for top of the range, well that I could afford, but it was a good laptop, if that makes sense. Um, much better than the one I've got now in a, it's not because the one I've got now is probably much way better than that was but in comparison it would be like um, getting a a Mac a Mac you know a Mac uh, laptop price wise but I just never fancied getting a an iMac or MacBook just didn't really appeal to me back then but the camera was really, really rubbish, always. But the machine worked quite well. See, now this one, the machine works pretty well. It has a few different... Because I'm using it all the time, and it's always on. Uh, a lot of the time, it's, it's, it's doing more work, I think, probably, than a lot of laptops would do. But it's pretty good, it's pretty stable. Occasionally it just shuts itself off because it's had enough. It goes on strike. But the camera is really bad. So I'll be interested to see what kind of camera the MacBook has because I've seen some documentaries where the MacBook seems to be a fairly good quality um, camera, video camera. But saying that, I don't really want to make videos anymore. I don't know. I mean, it's the good thing about making audios, just audios, is I can sit here in any clothes I want. I don't, you know, I, it doesn't matter. Uh, with a video, you kind of, I, I've got to get myself 
relatively smartened up. I say relatively, but you know, a little bit smarter. Uh, you know, clean top and just to make myself look okay and brush me hair. And I haven't even got any hair at the moment, so I have to wait for at least three weeks or four weeks before I can brush me hair. So I was on the bus, got off the bus, went to the bank, got out of the bank, walked down the road, and I'm thinking, what's the time? I look at the phone, get the time. And I was going to go into the bookshop. I thought, you know what? I'll go into the bookshop, see what they've got, see if they've got any hypnosis books, or, you know, just see what's in there. Uh, water stones and uh, but then I thought no what I need to do is go into the post office so I went into the post office and also yeah so I saw someone I was trying to avoid as the big big issue seller that I was going to avoid because she just wants stuff she always wants money from me <laughs> which is kind of her job but um, she's uh she's kind of never satisfied unfortunately and you may say yeah but she's still in a big issue why should you know that's just being I'm just being uh, selfish but I actually bought both of her both of her kids shoes for Christmas new shoes and because she asked me to do that and I did and then she still wanted more so like uh I kind of realised that she I was trying to help her out but I just there was an empty it was almost like nothing was enough so I, just, I bought her shoes earlier in the year because she was freezing she was wet and she had holes in her shoes so I bought her some new shoes but that wasn't enough I took her to the to, she was hungry, so I bought, took her to, what did I took her to Sainsbury's and bought her some food. But that wasn't enough. She wanted more. So I just, so yeah, I kind of avoid her now a little bit. I have to kind of keep away. Um, which is a shame. Because it's nice to help people, but there's a limit, isn't it, to what you can do if you're unemployed like me? So, so what I did, I went to the post office, didn't find what I needed, so I came out and I walked up to, where did I go? Yeah, I started to realise I was running out of a little bit of time, so I went to a charity shop to look at the books I got a book Odyssey's Home Homer's Odyssey so I bought that for a pound and uh, so I've added that to my uh, collection of classic books and then I went and got some tea cakes for when I got home and then I went to the psychologist and I was there got there about 10 minutes before the appointment and and that all went okay and talked about my uh, what's that word greatness that's it no <laughs> my uh, self sabotaging that I have a habit of doing so my homework is to no self-sabotage for two weeks. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's what I'm not going to do, or is what I am going to do, whichever way you look at it. So I'm not. I'm just going to just keep doing what I'm doing. And my plan, because she asked me, what is your plan for this year? And my plan really is to continue doing this not just these recordings but the other recordings I do as well to continue doing it 
to continue growing a larger audience, to continue getting more people visiting my website. Um, this is all I want to do. And the more I do it, the more I want to do it. You know, when I made that recording, the relaxation one this morning, or yesterday afternoon rather, I felt really good during and afterwards. Because I felt relaxed. When I'm doing a relaxation session, I feel relaxed. When I'm doing a sleep recording, I feel sleepy. Sometimes when I make these recordings, I do actually fall asleep. Sometimes I nearly fall asleep. Sometimes I actually have drifted off. It doesn't happen very often. But sometimes it does happen. And there's a pause. And suddenly I kind of wake up. And, and I listen back to it. Providing I'm not like making weird um, piggy, piggy noises. Snorting and stuff. And... Um, I just leave it in but obviously if I'm <laughs> doing some weird sounds I edit that out because I don't don't think that's really conductive towards a relaxing environment if I'm going <laughs> that's that's an example of the sound that I might make I don't know then there's some recordings where I'm talking and I genuinely don't know what I've just said and then I'm talking I don't know what I just said again and I've got no idea if what I'm saying fits in with what I've just said whether anything that I've said has actually made any kind of sense so I do find that I find that quite interesting a bit just I just find that the recording I do affects me I'm not doing it for me you know I'm doing a relaxation session for other people I don't need to talk out loud to relax myself um, although talking out loud does bore me because I'm boring but you know it's you know I don't listen to myself because it's not that'd probably be a bit weird wouldn't it although saying that just before Christmas I had a psychology appointment and I was there early literally like an hour and a half early and it was cold outside and I had nowhere to go apart from just wandering around the streets and I just said is it all right if I just sit here because I just you know it's raining it's wet cold and they said no, get out. And I said, I'll give you a Christmas card. And she said, okay then. So I stayed in there. And I listened to the entire recording, an hour and ten minutes or whatever, from one of my recent recordings. And it really was boring. It really... It was weird to hear myself because I listen. The only bits I listen to myself is the very beginning of the recording, so I can edit the beginning and sort of uh, fade in, and the very ending of the recording, so I can edit that and fade out. And then I skip through. Um, if I don't remember any particular loud sounds you know like a knock at the door or uh, something that's a bit like oh okay I should try and edit edit that out um, I'll just skim through if there's any peaks any because um, the audio you can see it visually and there's peaks and you say okay well that's that was a sound there which is more than the average one so I'll go through it and I'll listen to it 
but sometimes, and it might be my hearing, so I might be wrong, but it sounds, sometimes it sounds more than it is. Sometimes it looks like it's louder than it sounds. So occasionally what I'll do is, if it's just part of me talking and it's a little bit louder, I'll just fade it out or fade it in so it's a little bit softer. Or in the event of, well occasionally I will just delete that sentence if it's particularly, <laughs> if for some reason I just started shouting. Um, doesn't happen that often to be fair. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh dear. But I'll edit that out. But or if Andre is sometimes Andre will he'll decide to do something that is particularly noisy, like banging a door or something. So I'll sometimes I'll just stop talking for maybe thirty seconds. And when he stopped doing what he's doing, I'll continue talking. So I have to go back in and I'll edit that out. So I met the, to the psychologist. So I just said, what I want to do is have more. I want to reach, I mean, January, everything's gone up as far as the, the listeners, more people downloading this month than at any other time. Last month I had 67,000 downloads in December 2019. This month I've had about 27 already in the first week. And then I'm just looking forward to it growing, really. That's the, you know, that's the thing. And to make more recordings. And then um, I leave and I go and catch the bus. And on the, on the, the bus thing it says, there, there was no, no bus. All the other buses were coming but there's no, the one I was waiting for just wasn't on the list. I was like, why not? I don't know why not. I asked myself. And I said to the person next to me, do you know when the bus is coming? And he said, yeah, it's there. And he walked over and got on it and it wasn't my bus. Like, it just, it was his bus. Like, yeah, well, technically he's correct. The bus was there, but it wasn't helpful for me. So I waited and I waited and I waited. And then it's, it went on there, said the next bus is about 34 minutes away. And a bus turned up and I thought, I'll get that one because that takes me three quarters of the way to where I'm going. So I get on that one. This is where something weird happened. I'm at the, bu I'm at the back of the bus, right? There's probably about 15 people on the bus. Not a huge amount, but there's a few people in front of me. At the very front of the bus, there's a lady in a wheelchair. One of the ones, the electronic ones, you know, where you, um, God, well, I was gonna about to say, like Davros from the Daleks. Um, you know the, the, you know the controllers? That's what I mean, you can control, because in, <laughs> was terrible in Doctor Who they had Davros who was the, in charge of the Daleks and he had a remote control which he used to move now in those days wheelchairs didn't have that so that's clearly where they got the idea from for wheelchairs to be motorised that's why I just had that connection but she wasn't anything like Davros from the Daleks um I can't believe I just said that, but it, well, she wasn't. She was lovely, and 
and she pressed for the button for the bus to stop and the bus driver gets out of the bus I thought he'd gone I thought he'd walked off I thought he'd just like that's it had enough of this or he'd won the lottery or something just like that nah, see ya but he wasn't he was putting the ramp down so I didn't see her push the button I wasn't looking at anything I was just busy just thinking about my own stuff uh, and so he put the ramp down and he's waiting for her and she's saying I can't undo the buckle because she'd uh, there's some kind of buckle that she had that taped her in not taped her in that kept her into a chair uh, that she has to have when she's in cars or a uh, bus or something so I can't undo the buckle and the bus driver stands back and says oh, I'm not allowed to touch you yeah so before that she was saying can anyone help me and the bus driver I, we assume the bus driver's going to do it because that's you know I can't do anything I'm not allowed to touch you so what do I do I stand up and shout out I'm happy to touch you not I'm happy to help you or I can help you but I'm happy to touch you those were the words that came out of my mouth that wasn't what I meant what I meant is I'll help you and I also was making a little bit of a show of it because all the people in front of me that were actually sitting next to her didn't do nothing weren't even paying any attention so you know but I'll you know I'm happy to touch you so I walk over I walk down to the end of the bus and I say to the and she's got this uh, belt around her with a big red button that you press to undo the thing um, and I said to the bus driver remember because I, I'm, I'm almost kind of making fun of him as well because he wouldn't do it making like you were witness everybody and I I just pressed it I pressed the button and it just came undone and he then helped her off you know pushed her off the the bridge no, off, he didn't push her off the bus he helped her down the ramp and I couldn't believe I literally just stood up and shouted oh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll touch you like what's going on and she said thank you in that but it wasn't it wasn't even a big deal it was just pressing a button but because I think what it was is there was that pressure from her to like hurry herself up and bless her she's in a wheelchair she can't move around and those wheelchairs are heavy old things to, especially the electric ones the mechanical ones <laughs> the, the Davros ones um, proper heavy so you can't physically manoeuvre it yourself you have to rely on the motor of it and the, the steering you know the you know the big uh, the knobby thing that you push forward and backwards um, like a game console kind of thing isn't it and but it's not a game is it this is real life I think she was getting flustered because she was trying to move quicker than she was able to and I fell for her actually because it, it, like all eyes were on her yet no one was helping her that's what I didn't understand as far as I'm concerned I'm at the back of the bus I'd expect someone cl the closest person just to get up and give her a hand that would be my thinking but no one did they just sat there and so I just got up yeah I'll touch you I'm happy to touch you so I get up all I did is just press the button everything um, not everything fell out everything unpacked you know the, 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 the buckle just came out and she could then I think I don't know if she had it attached to something I'm not really sure I didn't didn't ask her I wasn't quite sure what it was that she had 
but it was to keep her in the chair basically because uh, for her own safety so she got off and she, not with the bus driver I mean, she, she, he pushed her down the, the ramp and she she went home I guess but I just was like oh, why didn't anyone else offer to help so get off the bus I'm waiting for my bus I get off the bus at the bus stop which connects with my other bus so I'm thinking well I'm three quarters of the way home at least now I've got a shelter to stand under and I've kept warm for the last half an hour um, a little bit of exercise walking up the bus and back uh, to help that lady good to meet Davros and so I went to I waited at the bus stop and my bus didn't turn up it said four minutes till the next bus my one didn't show some way in and then something comes on the screen 54 minutes till the next bus now at this point it's getting a bit chilly and it's dark and I was like oh so I end up waiting for a while and then there was 34 minutes left and I thought oh so I go into McDonald's and I decide to eat which is something that I don't do I haven't sat in McDonald's eating a meal for years and years but I just didn't want to stand outside in the cold anymore so I went in there had a meal came out and then there was about 13 minutes left till the the bus and it turned up on time got on there sit down at the front this time because all the other seats are taken pretty much I take me I've got me headphones on listen to music I take me hat down or me me coat hood I'm just there minding my own business and suddenly I hear this I have this bang at the top at the back of my head something hits the back of my head And I look behind me, and there's a couple of old like pensioners there. I said, do you, what was, "Do you know what that was?" I wasn't accusing them. I just, it wasn't like, "What do you do?" I just, I'm thinking that the water had like dripped down from the uh, the window or something onto the back of my head. That was my initial thought. Well, my initial thought was, "Who's behind me?" <laughs> that's my initial thought but then I looked and it was fine I just like okay but it, it basically felt like someone had just flicked the top of my head or the back of my head which is not a good thing to be doing to people is it really and uh, I'm talking to these, this lady and this man and they was like I don't know what it is what I don't know and I'm thinking this is weird there's a young girl sitting opposite me who's smiling at me so I'm thinking does she know something there's a I didn't think it was her I just just like what and then I hear her I see someone in the back make a noise and then hiding and it was one of my neighbours she'd only been chucking peanuts at me she was at the back of the bus. I was at the front of the bus. And apparently it was her fifth attempt before she actually hit my head. Which brings the question is where did those peanuts end up? The other four. They're probably on the laps of the people behind me. <laughs> just, all, <laughs> just two big piles of nuts with a couple of heads poking out <laughs> so I like cause I'm I'm looking over there because I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed just thinking is someone doing this and I was like so, so I go I go down and speak to her and uh, yeah it was her fifth attempt I was like 
like, what are you doing? So yeah, and I came home. So I finished it. it took me an hour and an hour and forty minutes to get home in a journey that should only be half an hour. And I mean, it's not all exciting stuff, but it was just. Yeah, I just do sometimes wonder about people. Like, just why? Why wouldn't you? Why? Just why? That's the question. Why? Why, 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 why? Why do I make these recordings? Why, 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 why? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. So on that lovely little nugget of uh, bliss, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. So I shall speak to you tomorrow. Thank you very much for listening. And remember to be kind to yourself. Because you do deserve to be happy. Genuinely, you do. You deserve to do something nice for yourself. Treat yourself. It doesn't have to cost money. Watch a program that you enjoy watching. Phone someone up that you enjoy talking to. Go online, watch a YouTube video that you find that you like to watch or whatever it is. Have a nice long bath. Do some press-ups, you know, whatever it is that gives you a bit of pleasure. Eat a cake. Whatever it is. I'm not advising eating unhealthily. I'm not. I'm just saying do something that's pleasing, that just gives you that feeling of like oh this is nice so take care and I'll speak to you next time lots of love